I was drawn to what I could not understand. But for the cause of Christ, I have spent my days believing that what he had for me is who I am. As I come to see the weaker side of me, I realize His grace is what I need. Do I have a witness? When sin demanded justice for my soul, mercy said, No, I'm not gonna let you go. I'm not gonna let you slip away. Don't you be afraid. Mercy said no. Sin will never take control of your life. No way. Life and death stood face to face. Darkness tried to steal your heart away. But to thank you, Jesus. Mercy said no. For God so loved the world that he saved his son to save us. From the cross, he built a bridge to set us free. Oh, oh, oh. but deep within our hearts, there is still a war. That's raging that makes that sacrifice so hard to see as midnight fell on a crucifixion day the light of hope seems all so far away as evil tries to stop redemption flow Mercy said no I'm not gonna let you go I'm not gonna let you slip away There's no need to be afraid Mercy said no Sin will never take control of our lives No way Life and death stood face to face Darkness try to steal your heart away but to thank you Jesus mercy said no and now to the book of 2nd Chronicles chapter 20 thank you we exalt you Lord Father we just praise you we just honor your word this morning your word declares that it is a light a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our part. Saturate your people once more. As they have been fed by the word of God. That it will bring restoration. And that it will bring healing and deliverance. Unto the lives of your people. God we are saying and we are declaring. That we would stand still. And see you work on our behalf. Give God praise in the house. Thank you, Lord. Second Chronicles chapter 20. And it reads. It came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of the Ammons and with them other beside the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle the stream. And Jehoshaphat feared. And he set himself to seek the Lord. And he proclaimed a fast. A fast throughout all Judah. And he gathered themselves together and asked help. Somebody say help. They asked help of the Lord. Even out of all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord and Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court and said to the Lord O God of our fathers 
art not thou God in heaven and rulest not thou over all the kingdoms of the heathens and in thine hand is there not power and might so that none is able to withstand. And I'm jumping down to verse 11. And it says, Behold, I say, how they reward us to come to cast us out of their possessions. It means that they came to took everything that they had. And he said, Oh God, wilt thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh before us. Gave them some directions in verse 16. He says, Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of seas, and they shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jerusalem. And verse 18, And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, they fell before the Lord, and they worship. I'll stop there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The text we read this morning surrounds the answered prayer of a man who feared God. Come on, somebody, I need to hear you. His name, Jehoshaphat, means Jehovah. God shall judge. And, and God did judge him favorably, Brother Brian. King Jehoshaphat he was one who would have led by example. And by this a means in all spheres of life. He was godly. He was Christ-like. He was honest. But in all of this, we see where trouble would have come. He would have feared God. He would have done all that was right. And in the midst of all of this, we see where trouble struck. I've come by to tell you it doesn't matter what you do, what you say. You might tell yourself because I'm serving God, trouble wouldn't come. I've come by with a different message this morning. Come on, somebody. Job was serving God. He was serving God. He was fearful. He was upright. He was doing just good in the sight of God. And we see where the enemy would have come in. Come on. When the enemy, if he went to God and he said, why don't you try your servant Job? The only reason that he's serving you and doing good is because your hand is upon him. It's because that you are blessing him in all areas of his life. So too, Jehoshaphat was one who would have feared God. And we see where the armies came up against him. You see, sometimes people don't need to have anything about you. They don't need to know you. To start to work on you. Do I have. Don't sit there and look at me. Like you don't know what I'm talking about. You, we have been to hell and back. We would have had persons who would have come. And would have said all manner of evil against you falsely. And we would have lost some stuff along the way. Do I have a witness in the house? That we would have lost some good stuff in the process of time due to our enemies rising up against you. But I've got a word for you this morning. God is saying to you, fear not. He says, fear not, for I am with you. Jehoshaphat did not fear because he had God on his side. I'm saying all you need to do saints of God is to stand still do I have any stand still persons in the house I hear you saying that you stand still but there's some of us who worry when we come up against do I have a weakness we always want to have the last 
say, especially in relationships. Where are the ladies? Sometimes we talk out of turn. We never want to stand still. And sometimes we mess things up because we don't allow God to, to, to lead us and to direct us. And we speak based on how we feel. I said the time has come for us to lay aside feelings and trust God. The word of God says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. When Jehoshaphat realized that trouble was at his door, he knew that he could not have handled it by himself. Do I have a witness in the house that when trouble would have struck, you ran to your sister, you ran to your brother, you ran to your friends, but they would have failed you. Oh, oh, oh. I've come by to tell you, I know of a man, I know a man, he is a Christ Jesus. He would never leave you. He would never forsake you. He will be with you until the end. When Satan said no, Jesus said. And Jehoshaphat, his armies that came up against him, they thought that they would have won. But one thing that stood out, Sister Liz, he went towards the church. Come on, somebody. He called everybody together. It means that there is, there is power when the saints of God come together. Do I have a witness in the house when the Bible believing blood wash sanctified saints of God meet? I say the devil got to run when Jesus and Jehoshaphat he realized that he could not have done it on his own. I'm saying to you today, you cannot do it on your own. You will fail. I've tried on many times to do it on my own and I've messed up. Do I've had anyone in the house who have tried it and I've messed up? It's only when I surrendered my will and my way to the Lord is only when I have a praying mother and a family background that's grounded in the word. It's only when the saints of God intercede on my behalf and your behalf, you would see God show up. And Jehoshaphat, he called and the church together and they sung the fast. I don't know when was the last time you fast. Nobody can answer me because everybody's studying stomach. Everybody wants to ensure that they're well digested. But there comes a time when trouble strikes. I don't know about you. But if you've ever been in a position where you have been in trouble. That's the time you don't want food. Anytime you eat in when trouble struck something wrong. There's just something about getting in trouble. Automatically, you, 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 you just have a bad bowel movement. Well, where are you? Don't look at me like you don't know. You can't sit down to every... I have to go because there's something that's stirring up on the inside that says to me something is wrong. I'm not comfortable with where I am. And, and when food presents itself to you, you are already filled. Where are my people? That's the time you need to seek God. Say so seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. And in light of that Jehoshaphat, he did just that. He sought the Lord. Said, I sought the Lord. That's what David says. And he heard me. And he delivered me. Not of some, but of all of my fears. I say to you today, in times of trouble, in times of despair, look to Jesus. No one live. 
David knew exactly what he was saying when he said, I would lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Oh, just tell your neighbor, help is on the way. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. He will deliver you. He will bring you out. And so Jehoshaphat, he believed in prayer. He believed in prayer. And we see where the saints of God, they rallied around him. And God gave them a direct word. I'm saying to you this morning, God is going to give you a direct word this morning for the situation that you are up against. Come on, clap your hands and give him a thank you in advance, praise. He gave them a direct word. When they came before the throne of grace, he said, tomorrow this time go down to this. And when you go down there, you would find your enemy. They didn't even have to fight. I said to you today, God is going to fight for you. All you need to do is stand still. All you need to do is you position yourself and you would see. He said, I will make your enemies your footstool come on come. I've got word for you this morning you don't have to do nothing they are under your feet I said a battle is already won clap your hands to Jesus whose report do you believe I believe the report of the Lord which says that I will not die but I would live. Come on somebody to declare the glory of the Lord. I believe the report of the Lord which says, greater is he that is in me. So my enemies, they don't want nothing with me because I'm a friend of God. Tell your neighbor, I'm a friend of God. And once you are friend of God, he will take care of you. He said, I no longer call yourself <laughs> but he see a calling you friend. No, 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 servants anymore. And once you're a friend of God, he's got your back. Tell your neighbor, God's got your back. He got your covered sister, Wendy. When the enemy would try to come in like a flood, he's saying, I'm going to lift up a standard. I'm saying he's going to lift up a standard over whatever situation that you're facing. And as Jehoshaphat, they went down. They realized, Brother Brian, they didn't have to fight. There are some things that's not worth fighting over. Amen. You know, said it's an easy thing. There's some things that are not worth fighting for. Amen. Some of you should fight for some relationships. Hey, Papa. A day only when you realize that he has moved on, you realize he used to walk crooked. He said, but look at you. <laughs> All the time you love him so much, you realize now he has had a cookie eye. I, I love that. <laughs> and you've been fighting all the time. But now you're going to say, look what the Lord has done. Come on, somebody. The relationship is over. I'm no longer crying over spilled milk. Come on, somebody. Because he has placed someone royal in your side. Come on, come on, come on. He has blessed you beyond measure. There's some friends that it's not worth crying for. There's some relationships you're just going to live behind because it ain't doing nothing for you but I say when you see God steps in huh? the song says when Jesus comes the tempter's power is broken no demon no devil in hell can stand in the presence of God hence the reason Jehoshaphat he got his victory I say to you today if you would only surrender I ain't talking about halfway surrender I'm talking about a wholehearted surrender hey, surrender is about giving up is about laying aside is about throwing away the old man we 
with his deeds and putting on righteousness, putting on godliness, putting on meekness. Where are my worshippers? Putting on temperance. I'm laying it aside and I'm taking you up. Jesus! I say he's the best thing that could ever happen to you. You look at me today. I look royal. You can clap for that. And so do you. You look good. Remember the time? Remember the time? Remember the time when you only had that one black skirt? Uh, and that shoes where the heel started to turn up. You know what I'm talking about. And that one shirt that you wash it and put it behind the fridge. And you wear it next morning. Brother Brian, you remember that shoes where the soul would have left it. But your punks in still. Like if you have your heel on. You're putting on your stride. And you're moving with your one shirt. But look at your now look what the Lord has done hey, I say to you today when you place God first he will take care of you clap your hands to Jesus now when you go in your road road brother brother Davis he saw you don't know I wonder what shoes today I wonder what shirt well Stacy I don't know I, I wonder what should I and sister Liz I don't know but this is what God does he just brings us out of a life of empty and places us into a life of a plenty and you see your enemies don't know where you've been and what you've done but tell them you don't know the cost of my praise you don't know the cost of the oil in my alabaster box I came to Jesus where he would and sad and he took them all away and he's given us beauty for ashes he's given you strength for your pain come on and just shout out thank you Jesus you are more than a conqueror as I come to a close I say to you that you can make it that we would not believe the lies that the enemy would have said about us you feel like you're the black sheep in the family they've ostracized and criticize and condemn you and say that you will never make it they look at your family background and they say nothing good would come out of this family but look at you now look at you now look at you now had it not been for the lord had it not been for the lord on my side tell me tell me tell me me where would I be where would I be uh, where would I be I don't know I don't know about you but I know my life is all about God he have done so many wonderful things as I look back over I can say look what the Lord has done look what the Lord has done he has healed my body. He has touched my mind. Has he touched your mind this morning? Genesis wouldn't let go of the rag at all. Genesis just pulling a rag. Give God praise to Genesis. Genesis say nobody ain't taking this rag from me. This is mine. This and that is so radical. You had to come for your salvation. Come on, somebody. When God bless you, don't let nobody take away your blessing from you, Genesis. I love you with the love of the Lord. But God's been good. And because Jehoshaphat feared God. And because he trusted in the Lord. We see where he has came out on the winning side stand with me <coughs> he's saying to us this morning if you would only trust me for those who can stand that's okay 
He's saying, if you only trust me with your situation, if you only trust me. He said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. There were times in my life when I would, st would have stepped out of turn. When I've done things the wrong way. And I've had to learn the hard way. He said, starting all over again. It's going to be tough. It's going to be rough. But I'm here to declare to you this morning. That you would make it. That you would make it. That you would be blessed. In your going ins and your coming outs. That the lies that the enemy would have spoken over you. Would never come to fruition. Because God is on your side. The God that we serve. He is good. The God that we serve. He has your back. The God that we serve. He has your best interests. But he's saying all you need to do is to trust me. Is there some trust in chariots? And some trust in horses. But church we are trusting in the Lord. I say to you, wait on the Lord. 